Welcome to NCDOT Now, I'm Dara Demai. Good news for drivers on I-85 between Charlotte and the Triad. We've awarded a contract for Phase 2 of the I-85 Corridor Improvement Project in Davidson County. Governor Bev Perdue made the announcement last week at the Yadkin River near Salisbury. Phase 2 will widen nearly four miles of I-85 from four lanes to eight lanes and improve the interchange at Belmont Road. Expect to see dirt moving on the project by early summer. Work should wrap up by May 2013, five months earlier than expected. The $65.5 million project is the first one funded by the governor's new mobility fund, which pays for select projects of regional or statewide significance. Phase two will help cars move more efficiently along this heavily traveled route while improving safety. Phase one of the project is currently underway. It includes replacing eight bridges and widening an additional three and a half miles of I-85. NCDOT cares about the environment and we hope the results of a new study will help improve water quality across the state through new highway design practices. The study will look at new ways to capture and treat rain that falls on roads or parking lots, picks up pollutants, and flows into creeks and rivers. The study will focus primarily on the Lockwood Folly River watershed in Brunswick County. We'll use information from the study to better plan for future road projects. The $72,000 study is funded through a grant from the Clean Water Management Trust Fund. The new bridge to Oak Island officially has a name, the Swains Cut Bridge. CDOT leaders and elected officials dedicated the bridge last week in honor of the Grover Swain family. Grover and his brothers owned the land that the Corps of Engineers cut through in the 1930s to build the intercoastal waterway, which formed Oak Island. The 14-mile-long bridge is the second bridge connecting Oak Island to the mainland. For these stories and much more, visit ncdot.gov. That's all for this edition of NCDOT Now. We'll see you next time.